Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be fantastic. I know how valuable your time is. I know there are a zillion things you could be doing right now. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, maybe only half a zillion. But what I want you to know is that by being here, you have committed to yourself to be better. And that's what it takes, right? You're committing to change. And that is so important because good Lord, it's all changing so fast, right? Can you believe how much retail is changing? Social media is changing. And unless you're changing with it, if you're even just standing still, you're being left behind because it's all moving forward so fast, right? So I'm so proud of you guys for being here and for committing and wanting to be better retailers because that's exactly why we are here. That's exactly why we're here. That is exactly why. So, so Harmony, you're from Hawaii Pacific Parks Association at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad to have you here. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And I see a bunch of other names I recognize. So glad to have you all here. All right, let's get going, shall we? So you are here today with me to learn how to create a rapid retail revenue generator. And you see, the thing is, you guys, is that there are just four steps for this. It's not as hard as you think it is. And, and it's just, it's, um, it works every single time, every single time. Um, and my intention for today is to create this process for you that is simple and effective, like a whole approach so that you get more revenue and more freedom. That's what my goal is for today. And here's what you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn how to start to clone yourself. To be sure, I can't, we, can't, um, we can't cover all of cloning yourself in just, you know, in just an hour or so, but we're gonna show you how to start doing it. Then I'm gonna show you the number one number <laughs> didn't know on how to improve cash flow. I have been doing this for so long and yet I continue to be blown away by this number and the impact it has on cash flow. It's really incredible. It's really amazing. Um, I also want to show you how to avoid feast or famine syndrome. Oh my gosh, I remember this so clearly. You know this, you know what this is. It's when the store is full of people the one day and then like the next two days, it's like a bowling alley and there's nobody around, right? right? You know exactly what that is. So let's, t let's, we're going to talk about how to avoid that. And one of my favorite topics, the BS story of work-life balance, because it's totally BS. It is totally BS. And we're going to talk to, we're going to talk to you about that. And we're going to talk to you about how you can take um, really critical steps towards improving that. And my number one tip for what not to ignore to improve your team, because it's so overlooked and people end up feeling all on their own. And it's about helping you make your team be better, right? So listen, I want you to take notes and stay at the end for the live Q&A because that's when, that's when I'm going to go into everything then. And, um, and uh, make sure you have your water handy. <laughs> it's so important that you stay hydrated because you got to make sure that... Um, that you are um, hydrated. That's this, one of the secrets to health, right? And um, you have pen and paper because we're going to get started with that. And uh, let's get going, shall we? Shall we? Just one second. I'm just going to shut this little, that little chat feature. All righty, all righty. So, oh, and also, you guys, at the very end, then I have a special gift and invitation for you. Like, if you want to stay and play with us some more, um, if you want more information, so stay until the end because I want to be able to share that with you because I'm going to give you everything I can until, um, until in this time period that you have. Um, like I said, I'm promising you it's going to be worth it. Hey, so did you take the quiz by chance? Let me tell you that the, it's been so fun to see what your results have been. Most of you have, I can tell. And, um, and it's been so fun. And in fact, I changed some of the content of this call to reflect what your results were. So I really appreciate it because this, this quiz allows you to see where your gaps are. And, and even perhaps more importantly... Well, not more importantly, it's just that I think that so often we all think we already know what our gaps are, but it's also about finding out what you're doing right. That's the key, right? And so this is the, this is, um, this is the link to the, um, to the quiz. And so don't do it right now. Do not leave me now. But just know it only takes four minutes. It's really quick. And awareness is the first step to positive change. That's it. So that's why it's really important that, um, that you know what it is you need to do, okay? So that's why, that's why we um, added that, that quiz to it. It's been, so, it's been great. So let me tell you that um, who couldn't use a, <laughs> a cash infusion, right? Um, I have been exactly where you are right this moment. 
and you're in the right place. Whether you are brand new to all of this and there's, um, it's all just kind of crazy overwhelming and yet crazy exciting at the same time, or perhaps you're in the next stage of business where revenues are flowing, but now you're like, okay, I want a little more fun. I want a little, have a little bit more impact. I want to have a little more consistent paycheck, right? Or maybe... You know, because cash can, that, that, that person needs a cash injection too, for sure, sometimes. Or maybe you are totally rocking it and you're just looking for more ease, more simplicity, and more freedom. No matter which it is, you are in the right place because this is going to be able to help you all do this. You all do this. Because what I know for sure that you want, you know, I've been doing this now for almost, well, actually not for almost, for 20 years, exactly. And what I know that we retailers want in the thousands and thousands and thousands of ones we've talked to is that they want number one to impact change. Literally, one of my clients, uh, she's the yarn store, and she says that she wants to change the world with her yarn store. Now, I can see how you might think that sounds crazy, but it's her passion, and she, she uses her care for the whole world and, 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 and caring about sustainability and, 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 and buying from people, buying her products from people that where she's making a difference in their lives. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's all about taking what you're passionate about and sharing it with other people. That's really what it is. That's why you started your store, right? Is to impact change like this. And I love this picture because just one drop ripples out to everybody else, right? The other thing that you certainly deserve is you certainly deserve to be well-paid. Absolutely, absolutely. That's really critical too. The other thing people want is more freedom. Now, whether or not you consider freedom to be this, which is sitting on the edge of the rock with a computer in your hand, uh, which might be a little unsafe, <laughs> Or I would just worry about falling in or dropping it or something, right? But the, you understand exactly what I mean, don't you? Having more freedom and more fun to be to be, in, be able to work where you want. I mean, it's one, absolutely one of the reasons why we all started our own business is to be able to do that. And what I want you to imagine is looking at these three areas, looking at impacting change, being well-paid and having more freedom, looking at those areas and imagining that you have more of all of that in just 90 days. I'm telling you it's possible. I've seen it happen so often. You deserve it and you want it for yourself, which is completely right. And that's really important. And so, and in order to be able to do that, you've got to know the path. You've got to know what you want and decide you will get there because that path is, is, is what you want to make sure you're on. Otherwise, we can all get so confused, right? And so, I'm I'm getting a teeny little bit ahead of myself. So let me just share with you really quick. So who is Kathy Donovan Wagner exactly? Why am I here talking to you about all of this? Well, I've spent over 30 years in independent retail. I had my own stores. Um, I had I started right out of college, was super successful. And then and so then, then we decided, well, if one store was great, two stores would be so much better, right? So we opened up a second store and everything was fabulous until it wasn't. Um, and uh, the economy changed and uh, boy, we were almost bankrupt twice. It was horrible. And, um, but then I sought help. I realized that I didn't know what I didn't know and I got help and um, also just really dug in to make this work because I committed. I really wanted, I really wanted to be in retail. I wanted to stay there. And so, um, yeah, I was able to turn everything all around and it's where I learned everything that I learned and we ended up getting out of that problem and, I, and I, we opened up a third store and I was never working on weekends. I was just loving it. And I'd go to trade shows and find people weren't loving their retail life. And I just, so I ended up selling my stores and just being able to do that because you, this information isn't out there. It's not out there. And, and, um, and I want to help you succeed. That's exactly why I'm here. And I'm so, ex so excited to share about how our clients end up finding more and more success because of all this, because of what we're able to do. And now I speak all over on so many stages and um, I, I gosh, I'm, I'm just really blessed about it. Really blessed to be able to share, share my experiences so that other people don't make those same mistakes. That's what I always say. Um, one of my most favorite titles, however, is Mother of America's Most Fun Family. 
it's true. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, and I didn't even mention you. I wouldn't be a mother if it wasn't for the father, right? And that was my husband, Paul, in the picture before. He and I are partners in everything. We're partners um, with, <laughs> obviously, in our family and as well as our business. I couldn't do this without him, as a matter of fact. He's the, uh, he's the rock that makes all this work. Um, so he's the father. I'm the mother of America's most fun family. And that's my daughter, the one laughing behind me. Uh, she entered a contest, a nationwide contest, and we, um, she submitted an essay about why she thought we were America's most fun family and uh, one of the things we do it was because we get, you get a pie in your face on your birthday this was of course a cake but um <laughs> but that's what we get and we do crazy things like christmas uh like themed christmas uh cards with santa every single year so that's always fun <laughs> so that's uh so i certainly know about having fun and know how important it is in life right one of the other titles that i really love is the title of retail maven and let me share with you what the definition of a maven is. I have it written right here. It was a client that named me that. I mean, you know what retail means already, but maven. So a maven is a trusted expert in a particular field who's passionate about passing knowledge on to others. Um, and that's exactly what I love to do. I um, am a total geek about retail. We tell our, our private clients all the time that, um, I'm a, that I'm a total geek about retail so that you don't have to be, so that you can wear all those other hats in the stores and do what you love to do. And then I get to do what I love to do and I get to share that information with you. Um, another, like the secondary definition of it is intense gatherer of information. And so they are often the first to pick up on new trends. And that's exactly true. Uh, we, signed, we just had a new client come on and I was telling them how I'd been doing this for 20 years. And they said, well, how do you, does the stuff still work? I mean, what do you mean? And I said, oh my gosh. I said, oh yeah, some of the stuff, some of the basic stuff for sure still works. I said, but also I pick up on trends all the time. And that's what I share in my workshops. And that's what I'm known for is giving easy, simple, actionable steps that you can walk away from today and make a difference right away because I want you to have joy and fun in your stores. I want to bring that joy out. And you see, what we do is different because what makes us so different is that we are in the trenches with clients. We are pulled up with them with their numbers, with their plans. Here's a, here's a picture of Juanita who I know is on the call today. And she's, she's talking to clients about going over their numbers and, and really dealing with them. So every single month, we're working one-on-one -on -one with clients, helping them to succeed. So we know all the latest trends of what works and what doesn't work. We've got all that written down. We know all that really well because we're trying it all every single week and we're fine-tuning fine it and fine-testing it, or fine-testing it, fine-tuning it and testing it. Oh my goodness, you guys knew what I meant. That's, um, that's what's so critical about what we do. And that's what makes us so different because so many people can, people can say that they're experts in anything, but if you haven't been actually doing it, how do you know that this stuff really works, right? And so that's, that's what makes us so different, is that we're in this every single month. All right, are you guys ready? Let's go. I, was, uh, I wanted to share with you the four steps to the rapid retail revenue generator <laughs> with my fingers that are all red from having, I had beet salad. <laughs> they look funny. All righty, so number one, these are the four steps. We're gonna craft your dream store vision. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to talk about all this. I'm actually getting goosebumps. <laughs> number two is we're going to talk to you about how to get real about your numbers. This is the number two thing. These are all areas of your success that we've got to get, retail success that we've got to get, got to get mastered. Number three, we're going to talk about how to master the marketing game. And number four, we're going to talk about building a rock star team. And like I just said to you, all of these things are proven strategies. These aren't just things that I think are a good idea and, oh, I wonder if this will work. These are things that we have seen for decades work. And then, like I said, they've been fine-tuned. All righty. Let's talk about number one, crafting your dream store vision. So let me tell you a story about Gail. She came to me with a nice store, a really, really nice store. She was a bit lost, but she loved her business so much and she was committed to it. She didn't want to leave um, and, and she just couldn't get ahead, right? And she just couldn't figure out what to do and what to focus on first. There's so many great ideas out there. Uh, you know, should I just be on Instagram? Oh, that must be it. I got to put all my focus there. Or is it Facebook Lives that I should be doing? Or is it like whatever, right? And so what Gail found is that this, this is where we start with everybody. You have to craft your own dream store vision. You've got to know exactly what it is that you want your store to be. 
like? Like, are you going to be high fashion? Are you going to be fast fashion? Are you going to be, what kind of gifts are you going to carry? Are you going to carry like the um, tried and true gifts? Or do you want to be cutting edge gifts? Do you want to be more item -y? Do you know what I'm saying? Or do you want to carry something like Mariposa that every, you know, that is a, a tried and true resource? There's so many. It's not that there's a right or wrong answer necessarily. It's just that you have to know what's right for you. You have to know what's right for you. You have to decide the kind of store you want to have, the kind of mer and, and the merchandise helps you with that. You also have to decide about what it is that you want, what kind of people you want to help, right? Because that's all different too. We work with many stores in all the same industry. So I love to tell the story of how I had three, three women's clothing stores that all were within a block and a half of each other. All three women's clothing stores. Um, the thing is, is that they were frankly all crazy different. And until I started working with them, they were all so worried about the competition of each other that they were reacting to that instead of holding true to who they were and what they were and who their main customer was, right? I tell you, it gives you such a sense of ease because you use that vision then to help make all the other decisions that you have to make. That helps you decide what to buy. That helps you decide if this new line works for you or not. Um, there's, there, that helps you decide what your marketing should be like. And best of all, let me share with you what Gail's results were. When she had developed a vision and a manifesto, she said it helps her educate her team, her tribe, and their future customers on who they are and what they stand for. And best of all, you guys, that the impact on sales that it has, her sales are up 43%, over 43% from last year. And this, and she credits this as being one of the main things about it. And part of her dreams, oh, oh, sorry. And the other thing I wanted to say, I got ahead of myself, is that um, the other thing that's so beautiful is that then you can use this and to just blast it out to the world. Like she, she took her manifesto and she has it on her bag. She has it on, on her postcard. Um, in fact, Claire, could I ask you to come and look and see if it's here? I'd I so love to share that with everybody, see if it's in the pile that's over there. Um, it's so fabulous, you guys, that, that um, the impact that it had of when she was totally clear and solid on her vision, right? Now, the other part of being totally clear and solid on your vision, part of crafting her dream store vision is that you also have to craft a vision of how to spend your time. That becomes critical. You remember that image of that path I showed when we started? You have to know exactly what you're heading for. One of my, um, my father passed away a, a few years ago and one of my favorite lessons from him was that, um, was he shared about how um, if you don't know what you're gonna hit, you'll hit it 100% of the time. And I can remember the first time I heard that, I was like, what the hell? But right, it's so true. You've got to know exactly what you're aiming for. And this then is where we get into this whole thing about work-life balance, because this is BS. It does not exist. It does not exist. Work-life balance does not exist. It is, what I say all the time is that there's, there's no such thing as work-life balance because it's all life. It is all life. and there is the thing about it is that it really comes down to what your vision is for the time that you have. That's what it all comes down to. You have, and one other point I want to make about it is that it's so important for us to be able to be and enjoy where we are right now. And not just think about being on this teeter-totter. Like when I think of balance, I think of a teeter-totter, right? And how, so there's work and then there's life and there's work and then there's life. And, and the biggest problem becomes that, mo that, people end up, um, that people end up not being able to be happy with exactly where they are. They feel like they're up or they're down. And that's not, you guys, it doesn't work that way. Let me tell you, I have been in business now, in business for myself forever. And I learned the hard way, and I don't want this to happen to you. You've got to enjoy each step along the way. It's a process, and you've got to enjoy it along the way. I challenge you to make a, 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 a I, won't, I will no longer tolerate list of things you've decided you will no longer tolerate, from big things to little things. But it's important for you to do it because people use this phrase as, an, as a reason why they're not happy, and you can choose to. The key number one reason that people aren't happy is that, or that people talk about this, is that when they're home, they're worrying about work. All they can do is think about all the work they could be doing. And when they're at work, when they're in the store, all they can think about is how they wish they were home. And so then they're not even working effectively anywhere. 
the the point is is that you have to have a vision of how you're going to use your time because without it you have a total lack of control a total lack of control you see beyonce uh, bill gates uh, taylor swift um, every president your most organized friend they all have the same 24 hours in a day everybody does it's just how you use it but when you have the vision of your store and of your time firmly in hand it makes all this so much easier and increases your sales every time I want you to know that when you take time to create that vision and to plan around it that planning creates peace planning creates balance and planning creates actually more time it does let me share the story with you of Val when she put it with her two adorable little ones when she um, when she got a firm vision for her time and her store her sales went up 25 percent her sales went up 25 percent and she did the one of the next steps that I teach you know about about this is that what she did was she fit her store into into her life I challenge you to do the same thing fit your store into your life have that calendar and map out your life first and then fit your store around it I can tell you that I always have struggled so I've taught this for a long time right and I believe in it and I've used it in a lot of areas but one of the beautiful things about what we do as entrepreneurs right is that we're always wanting to improve and um, I realized that I was really struggling with time for exercise and um, and God time every single always when I would make my quarterly goals and my monthly goals and my yearly goals those things would always be on my list and somehow I wasn't ever achieving them and then I realized duh this is what I have to do so now I've, I I set aside what I call it my morning adventure time actually and so that I set aside my time my God time in the morning and then I determine what days I'm going to exercise and then I fit in work around it yeah you can do that it's not easy but it's simple and you can do it you deserve to do it that's the fact I know it's a crazy thought but this all of this is how is will take you so far take you so far in terms of being more happy with what you have and what you what you can do in your store and it'll make you so much more productive which like I said always creates more sales alrighty are you ready are you ready to talk about some uh, numbers because that's what this next part is we're gonna talk now about getting real about your numbers so a client that shall remain nameless their sales were great they were really good but they were juggling some of the other parts of their business and um, then I found out that they had um, one of those high interest loans they didn't tell me about it at first um, where they take out a percentage of your sales every day and then we dug a little deeper and found out that they also owed back rent um, they had kind of forgotten that they did and also um, they were um, go they, we were so then meanwhile they were going to trade shows and they were buying and everything and Oh, also, they also owed, they were also back a month in sales tax. And the thing is, you guys, is that it's easy for you guys to all, for us all, right, to sit here and say, oh, well, that would never happen to me. I'd know all that stuff. You guys, they were very smart retailers. They were very smart retailers who were just ignoring their numbers. They were putting their head in their sand. They were spending so much time outside just hustling and hustling and hustling. They weren't looking at the whole picture. You can't do that. You can't do that. They didn't even really realize how much debt they had. Um, I love what Cecilia said about it. So Cecilia is one of um, one of our clients, and she says that I think one of the biggest changes now. She says that she realizes she doesn't have to accept a certain a certain situation. That now she can use numbers to be proactive instead of reactive. And I'll tell you that it's scary to do that because you feel like when you're in any sort of cash situation like that you feel like you have to hustle faster and faster and faster right you feel like that that's that's where your time is best spent but the thing is is that unless you stop and look at the whole situation you don't you're missing some key indicators and potential areas for growth that's what always happens too and and listen it's just invaluable to um, to be able to get another perspective on all that but beyond a shadow of it so like that's what we, we do I'd be happy to help you we work we work we work with clients in a couple of different ways one of the ways we work with them is one-on-one -on -one, and if that's what you'd like we'd be happy to you know to do that but just know that you owe it to yourself to be honest with your to really to look at everything and map it all out no matter how ugly it is 
or how scary it is. I get it. Cadence said that when she had no analysis in her life, uh, she was buying willy-nilly because, right, you live between this world, nothing selling. I must buy something new, right? And so then she ended up overbuying, and then she had no cash flow, and then she was totally filled with terror. But when she stopped and looked at everything, it changed it all. Right. So like I said, I, these are all really smart retailers who have made the same, that same mistake as that other person. This is also critical is that you stop and look at it all. Now, listen, talking about cash flow, I promised to share with you a way of how to get control of your cash flow. So let's dig into that right now, right? Because this is what we always want cash flow to be, right? Just, oh, whew, this flow of water just never coming in. And you're just sitting on the beach and, oh, this is so fabulous, right? I just love my life, right? However, how often does it end up looking like this, like the Hoover Dam, right? Where all this money is stuck behind there and you're on the dry side of the dam saying, you know, where the heck is the money? Where the heck is the money? And so then you end up just hustling and hustling to get more sales. Well, listen, I want you to stop a second and make sure you're really paying close attention to this because there is one simple number that you have to know to increase your cash flow. This is the thing I said that I continue to be shocked at how much this impacts, no, this impacts um, cash flow. It's incredible. Like, I really continue to be amazed by it. You need to get real about your initial, about, talking about getting real about numbers, you need to know what your IMU is. You need to know what your initial markup is. And it's crazy because like so many point of sales don't even measure this. People don't even look at it but it makes such a huge difference. It makes such a huge difference. Know that it, it, um, it, when you measure it and know what it is, it actually generates additional revenue. It gives you room you know, for markdowns. And I'm not gonna talk about this now, but the, I'm, so the thing is, is that in all that there is about retail, one of the things I discovered is that there really is a code for it and that there really is a science to every part of it. And there's a science to pricing for profit. And so I have a, um, a blog post and a, I have an article about it as well as a checklist that you can use. And I'm going to send it to you and, and right after the, um, I'm going to send it to you uh, right after our uh, class today because it is so powerful to know exactly how much you should be marking things up because you have to mark up more. Wait till I show you how much increasing your initial markup creates cash. So if we look at two stores, that spend $250,000 a year in inventory. And Mr. Goofy takes a 50% initial markup, which means that the 250,000 becomes 500,000. Now let me just clear one thing for you right now. Initial markup is always expressed as a percentage because when you look at the retail value, that 500,000, 50% initial markup means that 50% of that retail price is the initial markup. And that 50% 50 of it then is the cost. That's how that works. So that's what 50 does. That's what Goofy does, I mean to say. And then Smart Sue takes a 55% initial markup. So that means that that $250,000, that same amount of inventory, the same, she's spending the same amount as Goofy is on that inventory. But her inventory has a value of $555,555. Because 55% of the retail price is her initial markup, and then only 45% is the cost of goods. I mean, think about that. She sees a 55000 over $55,000 increase in possible cash flow. Yeah, right. I get that this doesn't change things overnight, but you guys, this makes a, such a huge difference. And it's a tiny thing. The difference here is she's multiplying things by 2.2 instead of by 2. That's the difference. And in fact, I would challenge you to even do it more. I would challenge you to search to try and get things at 2.5 where you can. Not everywhere. I get that. I, I speak all over. And whenever I talk about this, people are always like, you don't understand my business. No, listen, we work with all kinds of retailers, all kinds. Um, and I assure you that in every industry, there's some things you can't mark up more for sure. Like books, for example, anyone that carries books knows that. But I also assure you that in every single industry, there's an opportunity for an increased margin that you don't always see. Because here, every single transaction then equals greater revenue. Whoops. Can you imagine getting an extra dollar on every item in your store? Or for every 10 items you sell, you get an extra $10 bill? <sighs> right? That's literally what it is. That's literally what's possible to you. That's the reason why this is so important. That's why I couldn't wait to share it with you. This makes such a big difference. And nobody talks about it enough. Nobody. <laughs> you see, this is what just kills me. This shocking fact. Uh, this shocking fact just gets to me every time. 
that most retailers don't know how much business they must do to both have good cash flow and pay themselves. Um, I know I didn't. I didn't. And I love numbers. I love analysis. And I didn't know. Um, and it's just horrible because when you don't know this number, so let me introduce you to Cadence. So she didn't really answer that question either. She had no idea. She came to me saying that she now knew what she didn't know, or I now know what I don't know. I know I need help. <laughs> she said that to her, the scariest part was opening the store, right? And, um, but she needed to do what, what to do next. And plus, she had this, also had this personal thing because everybody has their thing, right? Every store has similarities, but is, of course, has their own story. Um, her husband was um, his, uh, he had had an injury. And so his, um, oh, what's that check you get? Um, disability. His disability checks were ending in like eight months. And so she had to be able to replace that income. And I was like, oh gosh, okay. So we dug in and uh, she became a member of our Patra Club actually, and then became a, now as a member of our mastermind, she's moved up. And, uh, and what I can tell you is that we were able to do it. It was so exciting. And what she said is that before she didn't even know what to analyze and all she focused on was the debt. Isn't that funny? So she was a little different than those other people because, right, everybody handles this differently. She was just focusing on the debt and it scared her so much and in some ways also paralyzed her because she was like, what could happen? You know, what, you know, what could happen? Because she was suddenly the, um, the only wager, the only uh, earner, uh, goal uh, Wage earner. What do you say? <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Wage earner, wage. Yeah, I think that must be it. Whereas, so now she says that now she has goals which excite her. And so, and she sees how similar to what Cecilia said the other time, she looks forward to looking at them to see where she is and to see what she needs to change to get to, to, get to them. And that makes all the difference. And you guys, oh my gosh, I couldn't wait to tell you this. Look at that. Her business has doubled because she got real about her numbers. She took her head out of the sand. She took her head out of the sand. You see, the one thing you should never do about your cash flow is ignore it. Don't be an ostrich. Don't ignore it. Because really, look how beautiful you are. <laughs> look how beautiful you are with your head out of your sand. <laughs> out of the sand. <laughs> I like to say this is the face of all of our clients who um, average 16% um, more sales um, with much less inventory. It's so fun. <laughs> All righty. So, so far, so good. Are you ready for the next one? All right. You ready? You ready? I want to see it in chat. Are we ready? You ready? Has this been helpful so far? Have I shared something like in a way that you hadn't thought of it before? Let me just check and see really quick. Oh, there it is. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, good. So let's go. Number three, marketing the, mastering the marketing game. So this is also something that is, well, it can be controversial. It's funny because it's one of those things that everybody knows but people are, Sandy, her, Sandy, what I love about you is that, right, you have the best, how many years have you been in business, Sandy? I'd love to know. I tell you because there's always so much more to learn. She's so right, right? We're always, we're always looking to improve and increase, and those are the people who have um, the most success. She's been in business. She's been in retail as long as I have, 30 years. I mean, that's crazy, right? I mean, <laughs> crazy goods. That's what I mean. So um, this is what I'm going to tell you. We're going to talk about emails. We're going to talk about touching your customers. We're going to talk to them, talk to you <laughs> about how many times, which is better, which is better for your raving fans who love you. On the left, you'll see 12 touches. That represents 12 touches, right? <clears throat> it's kind of a sad, lonely number. On the other side is 52 touches. Like look at all those times that you get to reach out and touch your customers. So that means that you're sending out a weekly email. And the pushback that I get from this about people is that they say, well, I, you know, I don't want to know. I mean, I don't like getting weekly emails. I don't want to annoy people. You know, I don't want you guys. That's entirely the wrong perspective. That's why I'm so proud you're here is because you're willing to be open and taking to take a new perspective and you're willing to hear something new. And I'm telling you, this is proven. So pretty recently, um, 
uh, it was Victoria's Secret. They had a thing where they were worried about unsubscribes. Oh, I didn't even mention that, right? Because you get worried about unsubscribes. And, uh, and so they were worried about the unsubscribes. They'd gotten so many. And so someone at corporate said, listen, we have to, we have to change the amount of emails that we were sending, that we send out. So they changed the amount of emails they went out. And no lie, suddenly their sales started to drop. And so after, after a time period, they looked at them and they thought, well, we might as well, so certainly their unsubscribes stopped happening. They didn't have as many unsubscribes, but they also didn't have as much cash. They didn't have as many sales. So they put their, um, so then they went back to their previous frequency of emails. Their sales went right back up to where it was. It was just a little blip. It was all in the emails. What I, in the frequency of the emails, what I challenge you to think of is think about how you're sending this to your raving fans who love you. The people who unsubscribe, what I say is, God, bless them and let them go. Bless them and let them go. They, weren't, they aren't right for you, and that's fine. I don't want to be sending out emails that, don't, that, don't, um, that people don't want to get. And in fact, you should be getting a certain amount of, of unsubscribes. You really should be getting between 2 to 5% unsubscribes all the time. You really should. That's about how many should be unsubscribing to you over a time period. Because, because that means that you're saying things that your raving fans are reacting to and the people who aren't your raving fans are reacting to and realizing you're, you're not for them. That's fine. So I'm a God girl and I talk about it sometimes in what I do. And um, I can remember this whole thing we had in our, in our Facebook group, in our private Facebook group, the revolutionaries. Oh, you know, would you mind putting in the um, team? Would you mind putting in the link to the uh, revolutionaries page? It's retailmavensfb.com because I'd love for you guys to join us there. Anyway, um, someone said, well, you know, you're lucky that you can talk about that, you know, because you have such a large following. I was like, large following. I said, you know, I mean, honestly, isn't the fact that we always want, I said, I, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, what, what it has to do with is that that's who I am. And so if something that I say about it offends you somebody, or they just, they just aren't interested in it, then for sure they should just go, right? Because I'm not going to not talk about it every once in a while. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's just going to be natural to me. I'm just going to say it, right? And so, but I get that not everybody wants that. And so that's fine too, right? It's fine too. And so then they can go. I just bless them and let them go. That's the way you have to look at it. But then I have more people that, that, will, that, do, that are a raving fan and that love the way I do it. And then the other beauty about it is that then your open rates increase, right? I mean, that's the point. And in fact, let me tell you about Gail. So Gail used to feel like weekly emails were too annoying. Oh, yes. Let me remind you all that we are not our ideal customers, right? But right, just like I love how she words this, but it's our main tool to communicate our products, services, and what's happening and to celebrate our people. And your, her customers hate to miss out on anything. And she does literally get comments from people. And look at that. Her open rate is 40%. I mean, that's over the top. That's so many. That's just fabulous. That's much higher than normal. And the thing is, is that like everything else, you have to know what your numbers are because you've got to make sure that you're measuring your marketing, that you're looking at that open rate that you're looking at the number of unsubscribes. Don't be scared about it. I for sure for a while didn't look at them until I learned that, no, I should be because I should be measuring that because that's fine. Um, but the thing is, is that all of this has to be attached to what your goals are, to your vision and your priorities, right? Um, one of the other things I say is that you should be spending 20% of your time marketing. If you're not spending 20% of your time marketing, it does not matter what you're doing the other 80% of the time. And so I teach about how um, people should, I recommend having a marketing Mondays. It's usually the slowest day in the store. It's what we do actually here at Retail Mavens. And what Cecilia was sharing was that now that she has that in mind, now that she has that set, that marketing Monday, it gives her such a peace of mind because she knows that that day is when all of her marketing gets done. That day is when it is. So that's the powerful thing about it. But yeah, I mean, just, and just like Gail, she said, it means, her, it means she's consistently in touch with your customers because you don't know what they're going to see and what they're not going to see, right? There's so many emails that aren't opened. That's what I love about that picture. Think about that picture again, that small picture with just the 12 and then the big picture with the 52. There's a certain amount of even just the 12 that they're not going to get, but with 52, you have so much more chance to talk to them. And the other thing that you're, not, that you're forgetting is that you can't spell awesome without me, meaning you. 
<laughs> that's the that's a you know Taylor Swift. Another one of the things that um, I really love to talk about is Taylor Swift, and the the words to her new song um, starts like that, and then the next the the chorus says, "You're the only one of you, and baby, that's the fun of you," and that's so freaking true. They love you. They want more of you. So make sure that your emails share that. And that's the reason why they keep opening the emails. That's what's the fun. That's what they want to hear about. Not just about products. They want to hear about the fun of you. And if you like Taylor Swift <laughs> or if you hate Taylor Swift, right? Whichever, either way, it doesn't matter. But I'll tell you for sure that this is how to end feast or famine sales. You've got to just stop doing feast or famine marketing. That's what it takes. You've got to be there reliably for your raving fans so you can love on them each week with an email and then you love on them each day with social media. And those of you who are already mailing weekly, emailing weekly, what I challenge you to do is that there are absolutely certain times of year that would work crazy great. So for example, like if you have a day where everything, so you're already emailing every day, so your people are used to it. So now the next step up from that is, so let's say that, you know, whatever, Tuesday is just totally, totally dead for you. Like Monday was okay, but Tuesday is totally dead. Well, then don't hesitate to every once in a while, like once, once, like once, once or twice a month, for sure you can do it. Um, and you for sure, for sure do it like around certain holidays. Like, you know, that's for sure another great time to do it. But don't hesitate to send a really short, very specific email out the next day, the next morning, first thing. Um, it could have a flash sale or so if you wanted it to, but it's not only about that. We teach all the time about how you can, have, you can increase your sales without having flash sales, but also just send it out about some specific thing that you really love, like some accessory items that you really love. Actually, that's what I really recommend it being, some sort of accessory item in whatever store you have. So like in a clothing store or in a gift store, it could be literally like an accessory item, like clothing, excuse me, like um, jewelry or something, because then, well, I'll explain to you in a minute. Or in like a maker store, it could be some tool that you use. So just get on there and share one tool that you just absolutely love and why you love it. So you're hyper-focused on one thing. You guys, this strategy works so well. And then what happens is that people come in and right, you could offer some sort of deal on it if you wanted to, you know, fine, that would be fine, but you know, you don't have to. So then people come in to look at, to look at the accessory, which you've also then highlighted on social media that day. And then you have the opportunity to sell them, you know, clothing to go with that necklace, you know, or, you know, or raw materials to go with that tool. So that's why it's so fabulous. It always works. It always works. So that's the next step up. So that's a way then for you to end feast or famine sales for yourself. The super small, hyper-focused email with a really short subject line. And then like the, the, the preview line is something like, this is my favorite, whatever. This is my favorite necklace today or whatever it is. And that, that, that it's in their inbox first thing in the morning. And then you use that in all of your social media too. All righty. All right, are you ready for number four? So number four is how to build a rock star team. So the thing I want you to know from this picture is that you'll see how everybody's pulling in the same direction. That's what our goal is, right? Our goal is to get everybody pulling in the same direction. We don't want it to be a tug of war torn area between people or between you and them or whatever. Um, there's, it makes such a big difference when everybody's pulling in the same direction. And so often, don't you feel like being a boss is like herding cats? sometimes, you know, and that no one's really taught you how to do it. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. We're going to get into that a little bit later. But, um, but the thing about building a rock star team is that it's really one of the first ways that you start to clone yourself. Really, it is. Do not undervalue this. Remember that your bottom line is only as good as your front line. Your bottom line, your numbers, your profit is only as good as your front line, the people that, you've, that, you've, that are presented to that, that interface with your customers. And I have one super simple tip about this. One super simple tip. This is Holly um, from Bella Filate and all of her team. And then this is um, Shanna from Azure and her team. And the point about it is you'll see the similarity about both these pictures. The owners who are right here in the front, that's Shanna up in the front there. And then Holly in the other picture is hmm, the one with the glasses sitting down. They're with all their team. And this isn't a rare occurrence. They're having team meetings regularly. Shanna, as a matter of fact, right there um, in this picture, she meets with her team every single Monday. 
every single Monday they meet to decide what um, their strategy is going to be for the week and what they're going to do. And she has a teeny tiny team, which some would say, I can hear some of you saying in the background, well, so that's easier for her, but it's harder when you have more people. Yeah, right. Well, so anything can be as difficult as you let it be in your head. Just be creative. Let's see what else we can do, right? What else is possible? That's one of our, um, one of our favorite sayings at Retail Mavens is what else is possible? Can you meet on Zoom? you know, whatever, but don't miss this opportunity. You've got to include them all because they want to be part of it. And they always have great ideas, you guys. They think of things differently than you do. They don't have your perspective. They don't have the same bills to pay. They don't have sometimes some of that, some of that cash flow worry, right? Which sometimes it's crazy annoying. <laughs> I can remember I personally would get so upset when I saw my team using too much, um, uh, curling ribbon on presents. Isn't that crazy now when I think about that? Um, but if, so like, right, we all have our weird idiosyncrasies. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one, but the point is, is that they have great ideas because they have a different perspective. And this is how you start to clone yourself is by including them, finding out what their ideas are, and then also continually asking them, how else do they want to help the store? What else do they want to do? That's how you, that's how you keep, retain them for a long time is by keeping them interested, by keeping them focused on, on what, how else they can help. Oh, you guys, it's so powerful. It's so powerful. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. You are on your way to your best year yet. We have started all on this and um, I'm so proud of you for being here through all of it. Um, and I promise you a gift and an invitation. But first, what did we learn? So we talked about your dream vision. You're getting real about your numbers, mastering the marketing game. And we talked about how to build a rockstar team, right? We talked about creating more balance. That number one number to know to improve cash flow, right? Initial markup. How to avoid feast and famine syndrome about loving on your customers. How to start to clone yourself. And my number one tip for what not to ignore to improve your team is team meetings. Have them regularly, a minimum of once a month, a minimum of once a month. So the thing is, is that, so I've given you all this great content. So that's fabulous. All these great ideas, all these great strategies that I know work. Um, but the thing is, is that I've been, you know, doing this for 30 years and I know what might stop you, what might make this a little hard. One might make it a uh, lack of clarity about what to do when. Um, the other thing might be a lack of time to get it done, right? Oh my gosh, I get that. Um, another thing is not making it the priority that it is. And a fourth is that you might, you don't have anyone to create a plan with, that you need someone else to be creative with you, you know? Um, or maybe you're even afraid about it or nervous about all this. Well, what I really want to do is to be able to handle this once and for all for you because I know that these things can stop you from getting to where you want to go, right? I always say that you're right here. This is you now and you want to get here. Well, there's these obstacles in between, you know, and I just don't want them to stop you. So that's why I'm calling them out right now because I want to help you get this nailed because this just coming here today was such a fabulous step, but it's not the magic pill. It's not the magic pill. If you really want to, if you really want to change and be different, you need more. And so that's why I have a special invitation for you. If you want to keep playing in the sandbox with us, I'd love to help you. I'd love to support you in that because it, 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 it is not always easy. It's not always easy, but I can tell you for sure that when you're not doing it alone, it's so much easier than you think, right? How many of you have sat there just with your brain going around and around and around and you just can't get ahead, right? How, I, I, this was exactly what I used to think. I used to think I help people, I deliver good service, I help customers every single day. Why aren't I more successful? Why aren't I more successful? And you're wondering, I know, how can you get your hands on more strategies like today, right? Because this stuff makes such a big difference, right? The thing is, is that there is a specific science to retail. There's, there is, there's, hmm, there is, and not everybody knows it. And I just don't want you to have to go bankrupt twice like I did to have to learn all this stuff. So that's why I've built this, grainy, this training experience from the ground up. So I'd like to introduce you to the Profit Breakthrough System. It is literally the must-have retail system for more profit and ultimate freedom. Because 
you know that in everything that we did today, I could only scratch the surface of everything, right? Like there is, I could talk to you about exactly what should be in your emails because I'm betting it's not exactly what you think it is. And we can also talk about how like team meetings, there's a specific way to run team meetings, right? This whole, so that's the reason why I, that's the reason why I created this program was to give you all that, was to give you all, the, all those specific tips and strategies. Because once you know them, it makes I know you're a good follower. I know you're a good doer. It's not that. You just don't always know what to do, right? I know, I know. So this is specifically designed for you to finally get rid of the overwhelm. That's the first thing we deal with in the system is because what I know, we've been doing this, like I said, for 20 years, right? I know that when you're overwhelmed, you can't get anything done. So we, we help you get rid of the overwhelm because that's just such a horrible feeling. And you need to, you deserve to know what to do next. You also deserve to make enough profit so that you can pay yourself what you deserve. Really, really. And where you can grow your business instead of always treading water because there's so much to do, right? This is for you if, because you'll be able to build a following of raving fans. When, you know, when I teach you about that, about how exactly what goes into marketing versus advertising, because see, it's kind of two different things, right? Once you have your vision straight and we go into all of that, it makes all the difference in the world. And about numbers, okay, I'm just telling you that you'll love the math that makes you money. That's what you'll learn to love. Because when you know, it's not like there's an, it's not like you have, you don't have enough data coming from your point of sale and from your bookkeeper accountant. It's that you don't know what to do with all those numbers. We're going to show you. And also, oh my goodness, about creating a marketing calendar that really works and how to create something once and use it five to seven times. This is specifically for you. It'll make all of that so much easier. It'll make all of that so much easier. Let me tell you exactly how we're going to do it because hmm, that pain of being right here is why you came here because you wanted things to be different. And I want to get you to here. I want you to get you to where you want to be. That's what I want to do. So let me, let me lead you through how we're going to do it. So the first module is all about crafting that vision, right? I, it's, it's, it, talks about exactly where you're going to end up. It talks to you about how you're going to, um, how, how to get there, how to create it, and how to um, get super clear and create this foundation for all the rest of the work we'll do together, as well as for your, you know, million or multi-million dollar store, right? The second module, we're going to get real about your numbers. We're going to literally demystify your financials. I love saying that, teaching this, and how to use them to make profitable decisions because I can remember that I love numbers and I would um, look at my financials and I would be like, oh my gosh, like it seemed like nothing to me. I couldn't make any sense. They didn't seem like it was real. Like it would show I had a profit, but I had no cash. Or I would have some cash and it would show that I had a loss. So like, what the heck? And there's not... I'll show you. It's not a mystery. You can understand them all. And you'll know exactly what, remember that part where Caden said about how then she learned to what numbers to really analyze and what she could ignore? It's exactly what I'm going to, what I would teach you. And then you can use them in order to make good decisions finally. You'll know what you can do. You'll know if you can hoard, you, you'll know if you can hire that manager or you'll know how much more business you need to do to be able to hire that manager. You won't be guessing. You won't be guessing. And you'll know the industry benchmarks, which is also crazy fabulous because it makes it so much easier for everybody, right? So you'll know, you'll see opportunities. It's so fabulous. Then the module three is all about your personal productivity. Whoops. And the thing about this is that this is all about um, staying focused on high impact producing activities. This is all about um, helping you um, not to realize you don't have to get it all done, but what should you get done and how can you be more productive? I touched a bit on it today, didn't I? This is about getting rid of that, um, that crazy work-life balance thing and really getting a focus on everything and how can you do something once and reuse it. And I tell you, this module alone, if you get this, that it pays for itself 10 times over. It's so powerful. Um, again, because it's not about doing more. It's about doing more that makes money. That's the thing about it. It's, it's incredible to look at. Um, and then we're going to talk about how to build your tribe of raving fans. I don't care about loyal customers. That's not what I want. I want raving 
fans and how can you find them and how can you get it so that they're talking to each other to other people about it and how can you get them to shop in your store oh my goodness um and yeah my favorite the key ingredient that allows you to laugh in the face of the internet so for sure what everyone blames their lack of sales on is because the internet's there right is because the so is because of all the sales you know look at amazon everything on so on um uh, everything on, on, you know, on uh, internet sales, online sales. It's just not true. It's not true. It's not true. Our, cl our clients' businesses are all growing. And it's because they've followed this path, because they've gone through these modules. They, they, it's one on top of another. We have them arranged this way because that's how they build. And, um, and there is something that you have that, when you really realize that you'll, you will never worry about the internet again, seriously, you will never worry about it again. Our customers never, our clients never talk about it. Never talk, except for how to increase their own online business, but they never talk about it. Uh, so how to win them. So let's see how the, how to win the marketing game. So the last one was about your rating fans. This is about marketing. So what it is and what is, what it isn't and why yours needs an update because you know, as well as I do that it's a brand new retail playing field and there's a, pieces of your, there's parts of your marketing plan. There's one part that it must have, right? And we're going to talk about the six main avenues of marketing success. And, and you're not going to have to spend all your time online. We're going to show you how to do that and how to get people to shop in your store, right? This is all about the marketing. This is where we take all the vision and your raving fan stuff and we put it, we put it to work. It's, uh, it's, it's powerful. Then we talk about your team, right? I talked to you a little bit about it today. Like we talk about exactly what to do for your sales. We talk, I mean, not your sales, for your, um, for, uh, for your team meetings, how to, how to actually hire people, how to do reviews, how to get, how to, how to do reviews without, without giving, um, without giving raises, but get them to actually do more for you every time. You guys, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing to see how your team really does just want to work for you. This is where you learn how to be a CEO because no one teach, I just should totally have that here as one of the bullet points because, because you, you're not taught how to be a CEO or a business owner, right? We do. We'll teach you that. We know we'll teach you that. And then in module seven, it's all about inventory intelligence, how to buy with your numbers instead of your gut, how to move inventory out faster than ever before, how to buy it better, exactly how much should you buy. It's fabulous. Um, you'll also receive one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's what makes us different than anything else. And then weekly live implementation calls. Um, and then more one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's right. You get personal calls for your success because we know that you'll get stuck. This isn't just another online academy that, some, that you purchase us. You give us the money. We're like, okay, good luck now. Talk to you later. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are here to help you. You'll see. You'll see. Um, you're going to be able to get to hear from one of our, um, one of our, uh, one of our uh, students in just one second. So here's what I want you to do. What I know is that if you implement all this, you'll see great results in your store for sure. But that's why, that's precisely why you should invest in the Profit Breakthrough System right now. So you can make you and your store even better, even better. Even better. It's just incredible. It's just amazing. And the thing is, so let's, so let's talk about, so I would, I would love to do is to bring on, um, so Andrea, I would love for you to come on right now. Where can I, um, so I think you just unmute yourself, right? Or do I know I hear, I think I make you the co-host. No, hold on here a second. Uh, hmm. No, let's see here. Well, I'll just unmute your audio, I guess. There you go, Andrea. Can you, uh, I'm going to um, stop sharing here for a second. Okay. Can you All right. Me? There you are. I can hear you. Hello. Hello there. How are you? I am great. Well, thanks so much for being here. And let me give, let me give everybody a quick setup. So I'd like to introduce you to Andrea Evans. Um, she owns Apple Yarns and she is a crazy busy woman because not all oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. She, is. she also has the most beautiful profile picture on Facebook ever. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's beautiful. But let me just give you a little clue about what this gal does. Not only does she have a retail store, but oh yeah, that's right. She also wholesales because she didn't think she was busy enough. Oh, oh and you're married. And how many children do you have? I have three awesome kids. <laughs> so, you know, she has nothing to do. So what I'd love to hear and what I'd love to hear you just to tell about. So what was the reason that you decided to, um, so what, so what, what, you know, like I was saying, you're here and you want to get here. So what was, what was the, what was holding you back from getting to where you wanted to go? Honestly, it was a lot of money. 
Are, are, we, are you talking just about the program or yeah. just? Yeah, okay. well, I mean, honestly, it's all of it, right? So maybe start with the, for sure. Well, actually, I can't even believe I forgot. To, uh, anyway, I'll get to talking about the money. But but, um, but for sure, just share like some of the other stuff. And then, yeah, I for sure want you to talk about that. But so talk about the other stuff first. So um, I took advantage of every video you had out there. Mm -hmm. And so we were just kind of, you know, learning about the killer clearance sale and you know trying to take advantage of all those things and then you would talk about a little bit more and I'd go oh well I'm missing that element I don't have that element um but you know we were really busy you know we've been a brick and mortar for 12 years we have these different avenues um and I've said it before is I don't think we were really uh uh, coachable for a while. We've been doing this for a while, kind of, you know, we got this, we're making it work, we're hustling and all that kind of stuff. But I just don't think uh, we were coachable for a while. So then it got mm -hmm. to the point where retail is spinning out of control. And uh, we just knew we needed more help. And um, in, you know, why we chose retail mavens was pretty simple. We knew that we knew that we had to make instantly what we would put into retail mavens. It had to pay for itself. That mm -hmm. was for that was for us. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, one of the other yarn shops honestly said an idea, and it was great. It was Stephanie from Uncommon Threads, and we you, we did our adaptation of it. And there you go. There was our there was our what we needed. Wow, that's fabulous. Hey, can you by any chance pull your screen down a little bit so we can see your whole beautiful face other than just your... Oh, there you no, go. Sorry. Fabulous. No worries. You look like one of those, you know, I don't know, what is that where your mouth is? <laughs> you know? um, well, so what is it that you felt wasn't going well in your store? Like, was it your marketing? Was it your team? Was it your, was it your own personal productivity? Was it just not as much, you know, was it, were you too crazy? And was it just not as much fun? Or what was it, do you think? So Andrew and I worked together. And um, it was kind of spinning out of control. We had all of these plates spinning around and around and around. And it just felt like um, we were dropping. We were dropping things. And we needed guidance. Honestly, we just needed help. Even though we'd been doing it for a while, uh, it's a lot easier to hire you than to hire employees. <laughs> I, we make such a commitment to our employees, you know. And so um, you were our next step. Wow. Well, and how would you say that, what was the experience of going through the profit breakthrough system? It's a lot of work. I mean, honestly, okay. yeah. but right. at the same time, um, it's pretty cool to know all that stuff and to, to know those numbers and understand them. And I mean, IMUs are something my husband and I just do you think we could do this? Is it 2.2? Is it 2.5? I've got a 3.5 on my hands, Andrew, you know? <laughs> so I, we're a little crazy like that. I mean, that, those, that's a lot of fun actually. Right. right? Well, and please tell, tell everybody how long you've been in business. Cause it's not like you're brand new at this. No, so we've been doing a brick and we've had our brick and mortar for 12 years, uh, about three years ago, appleyarns.com was, uh, we'd always had a website, but, you know, really kind of making an effort at that. And then two, one year and a half ago, um, we didn't find someone who had the same vision as we did, respects to hand dyed yarns and other yarn shops there will get it. Um, and so we took that on. Mm -hmm. um, I'd kind of always died before. My background is color, so I'm not afraid of it. Uh, it was learning the chemistry and that's been awesome for our shop. I mean, mm -hmm. it gives us something that's very personal and that we can tell you, well, that name mm -hmm. came from too many weeds in the garden called buttercup. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. Well, okay. and would you say that, um, and so to think that, I mean, that's such a testimony to the power of the system, knowing that you got that much from it. And also that, I guess, so what I'm hearing you say is that you felt like you were spinning out of control. So for partially for you, then it was, it was that you were, so like I heard one person say to me once that she was sick of pushing the rock uphill by herself. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. how she felt like it was. Is, is that what you for, sort of felt like too? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, um, business is changing. I just, I'm a huge, you know, have my eyes wide open. Uh, retail is not the same as when I was a little kid working at my grandfather's retail store. I mean, I've been doing retail a really, really long time. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's not the same anymore. Mm -hmm. And I feel personally very, I feel very strongly that the best way small retail works, mom and pop shops, whatever you want to call us is by working together. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Absolutely. I just, um, and you give us that in all honesty. I love talking to the other shops. I love sharing. Mm-hmm. 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 I love how one of the ideas that helped you pay for all this actually came from another, uh, came from the community. Like how powerful is that? Came from another yarn shop. Yeah, I mean, right. it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, right. Crazy. And I love to tell the story of how we're, since working with yarn shops, how I've gotten ideas from yarn shops that I take out to gift stores because there's things you guys do that gift stores need to do. And so now like our gift stores are, are taking some of those ideas. So it's so beautiful how you get all these people all Absolutely. working. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what was the other thing I was going to ask you about? So the, uh, so you learned a lot. It was, it took, a, so it took a lot of time. So right. I get that every, I mean, everybody knows that, that there's a commitment to it. Um, and, uh, but, but it sounds like, I mean, right. I mean, I guess the way that I always look at time and I'm in no way minimizing it because, mm-hmm. but I always look at it like, you know what I have that. I mean, I'm 90 days from now, I'm going to be 90 days older. I might as well be smarter and more successful. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely well and then because andrew and i work together all the time um it's nice to have advisors we we're not the you know <laughs> we both like to think we're the boss <laughs> and um to have someone say well no this is why i am you is important I mean, yeah, so yeah. To that. that's huge that's, well, that's so crazy. I'd love for you to speak about that a little bit about how, um, about the impact that working with, um, having your calls with Juanita, because that's the thing that I don't, I think if you haven't ever spoken to anybody else about your business, which I know is true for most people, that just to see on a slide here, oh, and you get two calls with, you know, with a, with somebody else, or actually you get three if you sign up in, uh, before Monday. Um, but, uh, like that, like, like you don't even understand how that helps. So I'd love for you to speak about how it helps talking to somebody else. It helps in everything. It, it helps in um, clarifying my thought before the phone call because uh, we're all busy. And so I write my notes. I, you know, what I want to talk, be very targeted and talking to Juanita. Not that she's, not that she's counting my time or anything. It's just that I want to, I really want right. to get work done. I'm thinking about it. Um, and then we just talk about it. Honestly, last week we did one where um, I thought, you know, I don't know. I can this sounds kind of funny. I don't know how I can sell any more this one, this weekend, particular weekend, Juanita, but I really need to. I really, really need to. And so we brainstormed about doing more kits or um, I could go back in my notes, but it, it was just 20 minutes of someone listening to me and then responding and then us working together going, you know, okay, we're going to keep thinking about this for a couple days. We'll shoot messages and see how we can refine it. Right, right. Yeah, that makes such a big difference, doesn't it? It really does. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and I love what you said before, too, which is that sometimes we are our, we are our own worst bosses, or I should say the best bosses. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes, or when I say best, actually, what I mean is that, you know, sometimes we let ourselves off the hook about stuff. And um, I know that, I mean, I've always worked with a coach because I like that they call me on my stuff, you know, uh-huh. like, like, and I don't mean that in a negative way. What I mean is that there are every, all of us believe things about our business to be true. Like actually the perfect example is you just didn't believe that you could do any more business. I mean, there was already like you would had this, oh, I'll have to talk about that amazing day in a minute, but you just didn't believe you could do any more business. And yet she shattered that myth for you in your head. Yeah. I mean, it was silly to think that I had built that um, stone house around me saying, I'm not sure we can do anymore. And uh, Juanita broke it down for me. And mm-hmm. Honestly, it wasn't rocket science what she told me. Of course, right, right. Need to be reminded about. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's what makes all the difference. So, okay, so hang on for one second while I just share a few more slides with people uh, because I want to make sure that they know how much it costs and everything and the investment. And then I want you to share about what happened with you uh, last, uh, last Saturday. So hold on, so hang on here. So, um, so this is what I want you guys to do. So like I said, there's not, there truly isn't anything like this. It's the exact system you can implement in your store. I am a geek about the science of consumer behavior and in independent re- retailing. And so you get all, and you get one-on-one personal coaching time together. And so if you bought all this stuff separately, it would be well over $6,000. But so for you though, the, the investment to change your results is $2,997, $2,997 is what it is. Or we offer three payments of $1,097. That's the price of the profit breakthrough system. But what we're doing until May 10th is it gets better. We have an early bird price for you. Um, and this is just available until May 10th. It's one price of $19.97. It's $1,000 off or three payments of $747, whichever works better for you. You can save $1,000 now. And so all you need to do is to go to this website, profitbreakthroughsystem.com, and choose your payment plan. 
and then you'll get your login information. And we're having our live Jumpstart call on May 20th. And um, then you have access to the information on, behan, on, on demand. You can do it however you want to. You can do it um, fast or slow. I mean, we're going to have we're going to have weekly implementation calls where we're going to meet every week to go through things. So we have a whole schedule for all of that. So uh, so there's all that. Um, and so what I'd love for you to say, An uh, Andrea. So let me go back to the the cost right here, you guys. So um, so like you said, Andrea, it's I get that it's not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them like what happened last week at Long My Yarn Shop. I mean, at uh, for the local yarn on OIS Day, which OIS, OIS Day local yarn stay, store day. We had a fifty percent increase, and we are very very proud of that number. On an already huge day, this is a on big a huge event. day already. We had already proved our numbers beforehand. Um, yeah, and so how many times over did that pay for that? Just this. Or you don't have to share your exact numbers. Do um, I have to do math in my head. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, let me see. What was our total that day? Oh, well, let's just say we would easily have done the one payment. Yeah, right. Yeah. Fabulous. I mean, it just would have been done. It just, yeah, easily the one payment. And what I'm also so proud of you about is that you didn't let the fear, like that money fear hamster wheel stop you from doing it. Um, I was just thinking about how when you first start out in business, when you're brand new, you're in like this hamster wheel that's going around and around and around. And you're so worried about um, where you're going to, like where the next money is going to come from. Like you're, like you're afraid to do anything. And then honestly, sometimes as you even get older, you feel the same way because of how you're waiting, kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop sort of is what can end up yeah. happening. So fear, you can allow the fear of money to keep you from doing things, but, but um, it makes all the difference in the world. Well, and you guys wait till you see, oh, Andrea, wait till you see this. So like I said, choose your payment plan to get started. And then the point is, is that if you want to know you're doing everything you can to be as successful as possible, this is where you want to go. And of course, I guarantee it. If you're not happy with the whole thing, by your third module, you get your money back. No questions asked, no worries. We've only had to do it once in five years, but I, I respect that. Okay. So it's just whatever, you know, I get how it doesn't work out. But this is the other thing. There's bonuses that we've added to all this that make it so powerful. First, there's the assessment that helps you know what you should focus on right away. Then you get the additional 911 call, we're calling it. So with the, with the process, with the program, there's two calls, but then you get a third emergency call so that you can call whenever you need to, you need some extra help and need a little shot in the arm. You also get my profit power pack, which is just so crazy powerful. It, um, it, uh, there's a, it's like how to price things. It's about how to never be out of things. It's incredible. It's three things that we use all the time. And then you can also get free admission to our next um, three-day event, our Retail Profit Revolution, where we spend days going over your marketing your manifesto, talking about how to make more money, and then how to mobilize your troops. All very important. And, and, and. Let me show you what else. And we've never done all of this the stuff before. So here's the uh, early bird price. Guess what? There is more. I'm so excited. So what we've done is we're going to give you all these bonuses, these three calls. You also get eight live weekly implementation community calls with each module, the pricing for profit guide, the never out of blueprint, and then use TNT to get focused but we're not done. We're also adding bonus classes. The number one bonus class is three ways to create $2,500 ASAP. And then the second bonus class is how to double your foot traffic. And you get all these too, Andrea, you can come too. I will come. <laughs> Cause right, is, wouldn't this be so much greater? So what I was sitting here thinking, you guys, true story, just like you, my business is no different than yours. You're always thinking, how can I better serve people? How can I help more? And I realized that, you know, that I understand that, 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 that 1997 gets paid back right away. Just like Andrea said, like, you know, she more than, she more than paid that back just that, just last weekend on last Saturday. But the thing is, is that I want to be able to tell you specifically things to do. So we teach these strategies, some of these strategies throughout the whole time, but I was brainstorming with our brain trust, which I'll show you about in a minute. And we came up with these that we really want to show you how to create this money back right away. So you're paying for yourself as well as this other really fabulous event about how to double your foot traffic. Another thing we know is that often what stops you from getting from here to here is what's between your ears. <laughs> right? It's what's between your ears. And so we're going to have a couple of classes about, um, a, a couple of bonus classes about um, mindset. So we're going to talk about, are you getting in your own way? What's the mess in the message? Which the message in the mess, I mean to say, you know, because right, does that happen to you too? Like that you can just tell Andrea how you get in your own way with things oh, and that you're absolutely. Doing more yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, I love this last line here, which is that implementation makes 
becomes simplementation and activation because that's what it is. Part of what we do is tell you what not to do because there's some things you're doing that you should not be doing. And so we'll talk about that too. And then how to become a richer retailer. This is all about um, the science about what the steps you need to take to become richer in every way. So it's not rich, you'll notice. It's richer in every way. You deserve to do that. And then this, this actually came from, was, 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 uh, was inspired by Cadence, that you don't know what you don't know. And uh, that's what we hear all the time. And that's, Andrea, that's, this is exactly what your story is, right? Because you were doing so many things right already, frankly. Yeah. I mean, I love retail. Honestly, I love retail. But it's just changing. And, and I needed to, um, you know, I needed, what's that saying? Um, my village needed to be larger. Yeah, right. uh, my village, my personal village was getting a little old. So my village needed to be, uh, need, my village needed to grow. Right. Gotcha. I understand completely. Right. So we talk here about growth mindset, about processes and about planning and action, and you'll discover where to get started. Then we talk about, are you using your gut to make decisions? We're going to talk about performance-based pay. Um, true story about the client that doubled her business using this. And I get how people get worried about commission and all that kind of stuff. We deal with all of that in this class. Um, manifestos. It's about creating your own manifesto. It's about, you know, there's two classes in this because this is kind of a big deal. And so it's like, what do you really sell? And then determining your messaging from it. This is really about getting your branding down. That's what all this is. Um, and um, I promised this to Andrea. And so we're doing it. <laughs> um, okay. Then also a reactivation campaign blueprint. How many of you know that you have ghosts as customers? So let's get these customers as actual customers. I mean, like that must, that's must be true for you too, Andrea, after being in business for so long, huh? Well, and that's where, I mean, not, I guess everyone won't know, but that's where the phone calls are helping. Yeah. They're reaching right. out. Mm -hmm. And that's actually not even part of this, but I should mention it as part of it. Um, so this is our brain trust, right? We have Michael um, who's been doing this for 35 years. We have Juanita who's been a lifelong learner and she is committed to, um, to growing and becoming better herself and helping your clients become better. That's, oops, I went too fast. That's who's working. That's who um, Andrea call, talks to. Then we have Katie who has over 30 years of experience and, and is a, has an, a CPA, is an attorney and a consultant, a buyer. So she brings so many tools to the table. And then Kirsten was actually a client and joined Retail Mavens after, um, after having her store for 10 years. And, uh, and so she brings a great perspective to it all too. And then we have a couple of guest presenters. Um, we have uh, two of our clients, Cadence and Cecilia. So we talk a lot about planning here at Retail Mavens and they have done, um, they are bulletproof journal junkies and um, they do them in two different ways. And so uh, they're going to be, they're going to be leading us in this. Have you ever spent so much time starting to plan that you never start planning? <laughs> So that's going to be awesome. We're excited about that. And then, oh my gosh, um, Ruth Sherman, who has, uh, who works with a Fortune 500 company. She spoke at Google just two or three weeks ago. She key she keynotes all over, uh, and she also works with. Um, she also works with all sorts of uh, Broadway and, uh, and um, movie stars. It's incredible. She, she helps them do two things. The first thing that she's going to talk to us about is about how to leverage your presence because your richest opportunities are hiding in plain sight. Now, the point of this is that um, is about how to really connect with your community and how to become and how to help that help you level up and help you grow your business more. Um, I love that line that says that when we, what, what we know is that to advance, you must mine oops, every resource around you. Two resources that remain remarkably underutilized are other women and how you show up. And so it's all about doing those things, about how to become a better leader, which is just something that we always need to work at, right? The other thing that she's going to teach us about that I just got her, to, so there's a couple new things because I just got her to teach us also about video charisma and how to be fabulous on video. That's the other thing that she's going to help us with. And then Jane works with, Jane Hamill is a, is a, a colleague of mine who teaches creative entrepreneurs about how to do products online. And so she's an expert at this. So she's going to do two classes for us. One is seven ways to increase traffic to your online store starting today. Starting today, it just might help some of you. And the second thing is three simple website fixes that will increase your conversion rate. I have to tell you that I didn't think this sounded very sexy. And so I said, really? And she said, Kathy, she said, this is so powerful. You'll be blown away. She said, in fact, I'm going to add, look at the bottom, some high conversion website audits. 
So she's also going to do that. So she's going to look at some websites. There's, there's limited quantities of that. So you'll have to get signed up right away. We'll allow you to sign up right away. But yeah, it's crazy. Cause she said, just like I keep talking, she said, like you talk about initial markup. She said, that's what conversion rate is for her. She said, that's the kind of difference it makes. So you get a total of three of these calls, three, three um, one-on-one calls. So you get, you get someone to walk you through this and help bust through those obstacles that are stopping you. And then you get eight live weekly implementation community calls where just like Andrea said, you're going to be talking to somebody else and they're going to have a, um, they're going to have a, a, they're going to be able to help you with it. They're going to be able to give you suggestions. You get my profit power pack that I talked to you about before. And then all these free bonus classes. And as a matter of fact, there's already more. Another colleague of mine is going to talk about Yelp. As we're going to talk about how to maximize Yelp because there's, um, I know people have a love-hate relationship with Yelp, but there's a lot of ways that we can use it um, for good. And um, she's helped a lot of our clients before. So, um, so what do you think, Andrea? Does this sound good? Sounds super good. I know. I'm so excited. I show up. I, I learn something each time. Um, no coffee in hand today, but uh, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm well, ready, ready. Well, good. Well, good. So listen, before I let you go, just one last thing. It's so, so that person who's sitting here nervous about spending, yeah, okay, this all sounds great, but you know, what would you say to them? Um, can I expand upon that just a tiny bit? And I know yeah. I've told you this before. So I first met you probably 10 10 years ago. And I mean, I liked your message. You talked about killer clearance sale. I tried doing it on my own and Juanita would just call every once in a while and give us tidbits. Um, I, I'm just saying, I wish I had done it earlier mm. to, to mm -hmm. the peace of mind or, um, in your words, the more sleep we would have received. <laughs> um, I just wish I had done it earlier. I should, I should say, I wish we had done it earlier. It really mm -hmm. does make Andrew and I a better team. Good. Um, and that's really important to have right. fun and enjoy what you're doing. So right. Right. Um, figure out what your event is where you can make that money to pay for that and then just do it. Yes. Class number one right here. Class ah. number one. That's what, yeah. that's what we'll do it. Yeah. Cause I agree with you. Uh, Andrea says uh, they decided to spend the money and then they decided to make the money. And, um, and that's, you know, and, and the beauty is, is that now we have this, we didn't even have this last time when you went through it. And so, but now we have, now we're going to help you be able to do that because um, Great. We, get it. we get it to jump. So yep. thank you so very much for being here, Andrea. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Kathy. All right. Have a great day. Bye. All right. So listen, you guys. So, th so now that you've been here, you've watched the whole presentation, you want more profit from your store. You want a lot more profit from your store, which you deserve. And you know this is an excellent value. Can you believe all of this? Can you believe all of this? And um, there's all this content. And um, what I would tell you is that it will ch it'll get you from here to here. In 90 days, your store is going to break through from here to here. Go to that website right down at the bottom there. It'll change. So take advantage of this incredible discount. Take advantage of all these amazing bonuses worth well over $10,000 and worth so much more, frankly, in getting results. I know the money's important. Listen, we talk about money and profit all day long at Retail Mavens, but honestly, it's not just worth that. It's worth every, all, everything else because you're going to be getting so many great results. That's what makes such a big difference here. That's what's so fabulous. Um, so listen, I can't encourage you enough. You, oh my gosh, and I forgot about the can't, you can't lose now guarantee, right? I mean, that's incredible. So stop letting your store run you. Finally, run your store. So check it out, you guys. It would be such an honor to have you here. It'd be such an honor to have you here and help you and be able to get the success that you've dreamed of. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your time.